Hi, I'm Mark Bloomberg, a graduate of the Rutgers Medical School class of 1974. So I'm genetically a scientist and a physician. So both of my parents were physician scientists who were at the National Institutes of Health. My interest in psychology um, occurred rather late in, uh, my, um, in my own development. In my high school yearbook, I have as my vocation under my picture, physician. But no one pulled me into it. My father was a pharmacist, so maybe that had a bearing. But somehow I decided to be a physician, went to undergraduate with a major in biology in order to go to med school, and then arrived at Rutgers. I would say the first day of school, the faculty was so welcoming, made us feel so at home, especially for students who were so nervous and frankly frightened of what we had gotten ourselves into. And there's so many professors I remember. One of the ones I remember most fondly was Sasha Melamed, who was our anatomy professor. I remember meeting him in the Great Hall and walking up those steps and him ushering us into the anatomy labs on the second floor and introducing us to the mystery of the human body and really guiding us through those first months so well. I went to Boston to one of the Tufts teaching hospitals for my internal medicine residency and I felt as prepared if not more prepared than many of the other students who had gone to many medical schools. So after medical school um, I was privileged to do a residency in pathology at Brigham and Women's Hospital at Harvard. Again, with an extraordinary person, and one theme that I keep talking about as we go is I've been so fortunate to have mentors, even before we called them mentors. I then spent nine tremendous years at NIH learning molecular biology as a discipline and learning how to apply that to disease processes. This culminated in my arrival at CABM in 1990. So being parts of these teams that created these institutes, the CABM, the Cancer Institute of New Jersey, has been the most fulfilling part of the work that I've done. The point that I would say that I'm most proud of and happiest about about the Child Health Institute is the quality and caliber of the scientists that we've recruited to the Institute. At CHINJ, we're privileged to be part of a very unique group of institutions that comprise the Children's Academic Health Campus here in New Brunswick. Uh, I started off in engineering, and so I switched to demography, which in sociology is a study of population movement, much like epidemiology. From there, uh, I s became interested in the topic of development. How is it that we get to be what we're like when we're adults? One of the um, uh, chief activities within the Institute became our studying of emotional development. We learned that we could um, alter their behavior by how the environment um, uh, affected them. Indeed, today, we talk about the epigenetic model. And the epigenetic model is an understanding that biology takes place in environments. And it's that combination uh, that led to the work that I've done in the last 50 years. Looking back, had a long career. I hope that my enthusiasm and commitment to the social good made the lives of children and families better. One special thing that has occurred to me over the years is how well the training I got in medicine at Rutgers Medical School prepared me for clinical practice. As I look back over my 25 years here at Rutgers, the most fun that I've had of all is teaching. Teaching graduate students, and particularly for the, at this gala, teaching medical students.